Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we're talking the skincare brand Naturium. Now, ever since its launch two years ago, Naturium has only really been available in the States through their online sales platform and more recently through Target. However, on the 11th of October, all of that changes and they're going international. They've teamed up with Space NK, which is a brand with an international distribution profile, to be able to launch in much more territories. This has got a lot of people online quite excited and I thought this would be a good opportunity to take a look at the products that they're launching in new markets to work, work out which are ding, 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 holy grails, and which are wah, 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 total fails. It can be a little bit tricky to find a truly objective review of Naturium because I know this is a relatively polarizing brand, but I thought let's put all that to one side and just look at the formulations they sell here so if you are tempted to make a purchase, you know which ones are going to deliver you maximum benefit for your skincare routine. Sit back, relax, let's talk all things Naturium. Now before we get into this video, I would love to know your thoughts, feelings, and most importantly, experiences with Naturium products. What are your holy grails? What are your total fails? Sound off in the comments section below, because I really do want to get this conversation going. These are of course just my thoughts, feelings, and opinions when it comes to the brand and the products, and you guys might totally, totally disagree, and I'm all ears and want to hear it. Whatever your thoughts on Naturium as a brand, if you're like me, you like the channel, and you like this style of in-depth product review, hopefully you'll want to reach down and give this video a thumbs up and a like. It's really important because the more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. I want as many people as possible to hear this message and also to discover our wonderful Mad About Skin family. And so for the little time out of your day that you spend to like the videos, I am so, so grateful and I love you all so, so much. Now, we have a lot to discuss, so shall we just cut that waffle and delve straight on in? So, very quickly, all the information on Naturium, we've got the launch, we've got a bit more information of the brand itself. Everything you need to know is all in videos I've already covered and I've linked them in the description box below if you kind of want to go down that rabbit hole and do a little bit more exploring after this video. But in terms of their international launch, like I said, it's occurring on the 11th of October through Space NK. Space NK are a UK based retailer, but they do have stores in other countries and they do ship internationally. Of course, it's always worth checking their international shipping rates because they differ from country to country. So make sure you factor that into any of your purchasing because when I mention product pricing throughout this video, it's all going to be in pounds based here in the UK. And of course, with exchange rates and international delivery charges, that might change. So I've linked all the products mentioned in the description box below. If you do want to check them out in more detail and check the price out wherever in the world you are. Now, unfortunately, Naturium are releasing their entire collection through Space NK. I say unfortunately because actually a lot of my favorite, favorite products from the brand aren't actually included in this initial launch. Whilst I'm disappointed, I do think they'll probably come down the line. This is probably just testing the waters, seeing what demand is there. And, you know, if the demand is significant, they'll probably introduce other products to the international market soon. Some of my favorites are their recent sulfur products, which have been game changing for my adult acne. I love their body washes, which I think are great. They do a dark spot serum, a recent retinaldehyde, which I've been desperately trying to get my hands on. And I also really love the look of their tranexamic acid and azelaic acid formulations. None of those are actually going to be in this initial launch, which is a shame but they do have some really good products that I do want to call out. They're launching a total of 15 of their products internationally, and I want to talk about what I think are like the five very best products from this collection and the five total fails. I'm all about the positivity, so let's start with the pros first. These are five products that I definitely, definitely think are worth a second look. Let's start with their multi-peptide moisturizer. So there are a lot of moisturizers claiming to contain peptides, and when you read the ingredients list, they are way, way, way down on it, and there's maybe just one single peptide in it. I'm looking at you the inculus that have been guilty of this in the past. Peptides are really, really popular in skincare, so brands kind of dupe us, the customer, by putting it front and center on the marketing and the label, but not really putting a whole lot of peptides in the formulation. You don't get that with Naturium. I love this. You've got three different forms of peptides. Each one has a different purpose and benefit for the skin, and they're relatively high up on the ingredients list, which again, means you're getting them in a really good concentration. I've used a sample of this, and it was super silky and soft on the skin, did leave behind a meaningful level of hydration and I think for the £22 price point that they're looking to launch here in the UK with, I think that's a fair price for the quality of the formulation you're getting. The packaging looks divine so it would definitely slot beautifully onto your vanity and I think it's really nice to see a brand advertise that they contain peptides and actually mean it. Actually deliver this wonderful ingredient in a meaningful concentration and multiple different forms of it. If you want to know a little bit more about peptides, I covered all the basics you need to know in a recent video which I'll leave a link to up there but I definitely think this is one of the stars of the whole Naturium collection. 
Up second in terms of the favourites that I will be recommending is their Alpha Arbutin 2%. Now, Alpha Arbutin, one of my favourite, favourite pigment correcting, hyperpigmentation fighting and brightening skincare ingredients. It's really, really gentle, so it works with most skin types. And that 2% concentration is where all the studies have shown you'll get maximum benefits, minimum risk of side effects. So I think this is a really well formulated product. It's got some hydrators in here as well, which are going to help minimise any dryness that you could get. It's just a really nice all round serum. Now, this is a little bit more expensive than the ordinary Alpha Arbutin 2%, which basically is a very, very similar ingredient profile. So you could, of course, reach for the ordinary if you want to save some of your hard-earned coin. But if you're looking to shop Naturium, I think this is a really, really good and standout product from them. I prefer the pump on this than the dropper on the ordinary. It's just easier to use, particularly because both serums are a little bit on the watery side, so it can run everywhere. So the pump is definitely a benefit here. And I think if you don't mind paying a little bit more for that, this is definitely, definitely one of their holy grails. Now, in at number three is their Vitamin C Complex Serum. Now, this is the serum that kind of kickstarted a lot of the controversy earlier on. And I think that's a shame because actually it's one of the best products that the brand has to offer. So it combines a stabilized form of ascorbic acid alongside a vitamin C derivative. I love both different forms of vitamin C because they have different purposes. If you've got a super sensitive skin type, vitamin C derivatives are going to be like your best, best friend. If you've got a more resilient skin type and you crave like those quick results and quick wins, then ascorbic acid is going to deliver in the shortest amount of time. Both of them over time will brighten the skin, fade hyperpigmentation, and I love a good vitamin C fix in my skincare routine. One of my favourite products that combines both forms of this key ingredient are the Stratia C plus C serum, which you can see on the back shelf there. This does command a relatively high price point and can be really difficult to get here in the UK. So the Naturium one has a very similar ingredient blend in terms of taking active forms of vitamin C and the derivative forms, but it comes at a lower price point and it's easier to access here in the UK and Europe. So I definitely say if you've been coveting that Stratia product, you could definitely reach for this, get very similar results, save a little bit of your coin and just have easier access to the product. It's definitely one of their standout holy grails and one I will be definitely, definitely tempted to pick up if I was passing through Space NK. Now in at number four is the BHA Liquid Exfoliant 2%. This is a holy grail because it's basically a like for like dupe for the Paula's Choice Liquid Exfoliant at like half the price. That Paula's Choice one is cult for a reason. It really does work. It delivers a great concentration of salicylic acid, but in a way that won't irritate the skin, cause any redness, peeling or sensitivity. You're getting the same thing with this Naturium one, but like I say, a lower price point, And I personally prefer the packaging. It's just a little easier to travel with. I think it's easier to apply if you're using a cotton around to apply this product and overall I think you get a better user experience than you do with Paula's Choice. If you're looking to get Paula's Choice results at a fraction of the cost this is definitely one that I would recommend. Salicylic acid in a 2% concentration will work for almost all skin types bar maybe those that are super super sensitive. Some brands will push it a little bit higher but that's when I think it could become a little bit problematic particularly if you have any inbuilt redness or sensitivity. Keep it at 2%, use it frequently in your skincare routine and you'll definitely notice less congestion in the pores, your breakouts will be less Less frequent and I find it helps to reduce the heal time of breakouts when I do get them. Definitely, definitely a standout product. Now finally is the Niacinamide Gel Cream 5%. Now one of my biggest criticisms of Naturium is they put Niacinamide in everything. Niacinamide in a low concentration, wonderful. It can regulate oil levels in the skin, calm, soothe. It can also help even out the complexion. But when you see in every single product, that compounds and we end up using too much of the ingredient, which can then lead to redness, peeling, irritation, and an increase in skin sensitivity. All things you kind of want to avoid. All of the studies show that the very best concentration of niacinamide is between a 2 and a 5%. So, if you're someone that's eliminated niacinamide from your skincare routine, what's one product that delivers it in a meaningful concentration that won't sensitize. This is a really, really nice gel cream. You get some extra hydration and moisture from it, and you get that 5% niacinamide. This is a great option for anyone that has super oily or acne prone skin that's looking for a lightweight summer moisturizer. When I tried this in the summer, it did work really, really well. Hydrated me enough, but didn't leave me feeling like I was being weighed down, like wearing a mask all day long, which is why it's in the holy grail list. Now, there are so many other products from Naturium that I wish they had launched with in terms of this international rollout because the ones I mentioned really early on in this video are like the star performers. Okay, you can't get them all from Space NK on this initial launch, but I hope they'll be coming down the line. The five that I've just mentioned definitely are worth a second look. I think they're well formulated. The price point is really reasonable for what you're getting. And I like the look of the packaging and how easy it is for the consumer to use. Unfortunately, with any holy grails do come some wah, 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 total fails. And these are the five 
five products from this initial launch that I probably would avoid. Let's start with their Niacinamide 12% plus Zinc Serum. This is actually their best seller, I believe. I read an article saying that somewhere, and that's a shame because you really don't need this much Niacinamide in your life. I just mentioned like two to five percent is the best concentration. Why are we going for 12%? I don't know. And um, Naturium went through a bit of a phase, sort of like six months after their launch, where they just started to chase sales based on you know just increasing the concentrations a little bit higher than a traditional bestseller. In this case, the ordinary Niacinamide 10% was like one of their best sellers, so they thought let's just go the step further, 12%. I know people will buy it because they're chasing higher concentrations. You really don't need this. I think that gel cream with a 5% is way, way better. You'll get all the great results with less irritation. So this for me is a firm pass. They also do a hyaluronic acid serum 5%, which is the same problem. The Audrey did a 2% hyaluronic acid, so Naturium thought, okay, let's do a 5%. You don't need that much hyaluronic acid in your skincare routine. Read any of the ingredients that you're currently reaching for, and they probably all have sodium hyaluronate or hyaluronic acid in them already. You get this great ingredient, which is wonderful at retaining moisture in the skin. With the rest of your skincare routine, you don't need a standalone serum. So this, at its best, would just be a waste of money. At its worst, it could trigger some sensitivity, because a lot of people out there are using too much hyaluronic acid and it is causing redness and itchiness in the skin. I know this from personal experience and I've really tried to like minimize the amount of hyaluronic acid that I use. In at number three is their glycolic acid 10% peel. So glycolic acid used to be my go-to for years and the stronger the concentration, the better. Then I realized actually it's a really potent exfoliator that can strip and dry the skin and it's one of the most irritating out there because of its molecule size. Glycolic acid is fine if you have a super resilient skin type, but I'd say most people will get better results from a lactic acid, which is more gentle, just a more superficial exfoliation and I find gives you a better glow up and radiance boost than glycolic acid ever will. Go in for a 5 or a 10% concentration of lactic acid and skip this 10% glycolic acid, which I think will just be a little bit too irritating for most skin types. At four, we've got the Plant Ceramide Moisture Cream. Um, I saw where they were going with this, but actually I prefer to stick to traditional ceramides, which have the science behind them to back up how effective they are for soothing the skin, retaining moisture in the skin, and repairing the skin barrier. Um, so many serums and moisturizers have traditional ceramides in at a really low cost price. You can get it at the drugstore. I don't feel that you need this plant ceramide infusion. It is vegan, so if you're living a plant-based or a vegan lifestyle, this could be a good alternative for you. But for everyone else, I think you can go to the drugstore and get a more affordable ceramide fix that has a bit more data to back it up. Finally, their Retinol Complex Serum. Lots of people fangirl hard about this, but honestly, I don't really get where the hype is. I'm really, really keen to try the uh, Naturium Retinaldehyde Serum because that looks game-changingly good. This, I think, is just a poor relation of that one. And I think if you were looking and you could get your hands on that Retinaldehyde, you'll get better results from it. Personally, I like to get my retinoid fix from Geek and Gorgeous, which is one of my favorite brands that, again, formulates with retinaldehyde that all the studies have shown is just a little bit more effective. Goes through fewer molecular pathways of transformation to get to the retinoic acid to do all that amazing work on your skin. So this will deliver some anti-aging benefit, but I just think there's better options on the market at a lower cost price. So this one really isn't for me. So there you have it guys, a rundown of my five holy grails and five total fails for the new international launch of the Naturium brand. I do wish that they'd included some of my personal holy grails in this launch, but you know what, they're not there to just serve me and hopefully these products will come down the line in the coming months and I'll update you guys as and when I know any more. I definitely think those holy grails I called out will deliver meaningful benefit in your skincare routine, so let me know if anything in this video has like piqued your interest, will you be shopping with them, are you avoiding them, sign off in the comments section below and let's get this conversation going wherever you are in the world guys stay safe stay well love your skin take care bye